You've brought back a very valuable specimen, a new kind of parasitic gray space entity we've never seen. It will be immensely helpful to Dr. Clive and his research. Apart from Umi herself, I think it's likely other members of Outpost 10 also fell under the gray space entity's control. I recommend putting them into isolation for observation. Okay, I'll arrange it. But unfortunately, our current technology has no way of identifying if someone was under control of one of these parasitic gray space entities. Parasites can hide themselves well within their host. When Umi was parasitized, I couldn't detect any gray space entity signals inside her body. We would have all been deceived if Miss Lin hadn't noticed what was wrong with her. Perhaps we can have Dr. Rubilia take a look at them? Right. Rubilia might be able to identify controlled individuals quickly. My main concern is that there may be more insidious, longer-term parasitic effects at play. Also, I'm worried that... I understand. I'm sure that Umi and her colleagues are not the first humans to come under parasitic control. Our best bet right now is to keep the whole affair as low-key as possible. We wouldn't want to start a panic. Archon Larson has already ordered an urgent investigation into this new species of gray space entity, but determining its exact capabilities and what other effects it may have could be a lengthy process. You can leave those questions with us, Lynn. Archon Larson has another mission for you. He wants us to go to Ennis through the tunnels? Yes, right now whatever is happening to Innis is our highest priority. Since the Miasmic Swamp base stations are out of action for the time being, the deep sea tunnels are the only way to get there. But the tunnel network is a real labyrinth, and we can't discount the possibility of gray space entities or other dangerous creatures lurking within. You're going to need someone familiar with the tunnel's layout. I can guide you. Greetings. I'm Icarus. Operation codename? Mook. Mr. Icarus. Lyra. Lynn. Icarus. You're back? Yes. Archon Elric asked me to assist as soon as he heard of the issues surrounding Vera. And you are the Executor and Miss Shirley, correct? Greetings. I'm Icarus. Operation codename, Mook. Mook? You're the leader of the Mook Squad? Uh, yes. Icarus and his squad had been posted to Innis for quite some time, so you've never had the opportunity to meet until now. And I'm afraid I'd be stuck in Innes too if I hadn't been ordered back to District 9. You don't seem too worried about Innes' situation. Shiro had detected an anomalous change in the ocean environment several days ago, so we'd asked Archon Fiona to make preparations before this incident developed. I'm confident that Ines will remain safe, even if they've lost contact with Mororia for now. Icarus, you were just saying you could guide us? So exactly how familiar are you with the tunnels? Archon Fiona once showed me the blueprints of the entire tunnel network, and I also carried out a few simple exploration missions there in the past. You can trust me to be your guide. All right then. I'll leave re-establishing contact with Innes to you, Lin, the Executor, and Shirley. Archon Larson needs Tian Long to stay in Meroria to handle another urgent matter. Okay. Then we should go as soon as we're ready. Thank you. 
Ready?
Thank <laughs> you. 